This week we're going to kind of give you a little insight on a test of Holly's Terminator on a basically pretty close to 700 horsepower big block Chevrolet. We went ahead and run this. Uh, this is a RQ 1050 quick fuel carburetor. So it's got a little hydraulic roller camshaft in it. So it, it definitely, you know, it's only got about five inches of vacuum and stuff. So it's going to be a good little test. So uh, we've done, ran this here, baselined it. So now we're going to switch it over to the Terminator and uh, just see how it runs. Stay tuned. Okay, we've installed our Holly Terminator system on our pretty close to 700 horsepower big block Chevrolet, as you can see. So this system basically at this point in time you really can't buy it from Holly to support this kind of power. Uh, so what we did is we purchased some scepter injectors. These are 205 rated injectors times 4 to support this kind of power and installed those. You know, our, our deal was we were, the customer had a 700 horsepower big block Chevrolet, Ford, things of that nature, and he still wanted to stick with a throttle body fuel injection, that we had a, a product that we could sell him that we felt was good. So that's what this, this testing is all about. So, uh, so we've ran it, runs good, within a couple of horsepower and foot pounds of torque of, of our carburetor. Had really good manners, idled really well, chugged down at 900 RPM, really good, responsive, uh, really couldn't ask for a better quality idle. And that seems to be some of the, the problems with the fuel injection systems out there that uh, when you get into you know a low vac situation like this motor's only got about five inches of vac, that they just do not idle good, they they hunt all over the place, everything of that nature. And that's kind of one of the, the good qualities of the Holly systems. They just don't have those characteristics. Uh, we've just had extremely good luck uh, you know, with the low vac engines and stuff. So, highly recommend it. So, uh, I'm going to give you a few little tidbits here. Uh, just If you get a system, no matter if you get it from us or anybody, just read the instructions. We get a lot of people call up and ask questions that are just really self-explanatory instructions. Uh, so you don't get yourself into trouble. You know, pay attention to your wire. And actually, this is all dyno stuff, so it's it's uh, you know we're on and off real fast, so we're not going to loom it up or anything. But you know, make sure your your power and ground, the main wires, are right to the battery. A four-post battery is highly recommended. They can just have their own provisions right there and stuff. So keep the keep the uh, box you know isolated from your MSD box and things of that nature, which they tell you in the instructions. So. A couple things is when you first start it up, you know, uh, you want to make sure your O2 is placed correctly and no air leaks. If that thing gets an air leak, it's going to sense it's lean and it's going to throw a bunch of fuel at the motor and then you're going to kill a spark plug and then, you, then it's going to throw a bunch more fuel at it because it's got a, a miss. So once you go down that road, you're done. Uh, it's not like an old carburetor, sometimes it'll clean itself up. Uh, so I highly recommend that, that if it does not run good, Definitely stop, you know, definitely get good plugs in it, st start over. So, uh, and, and figure out why it wasn't, you know, if it is an O2 leak or things of that nature. So if you, if you get to that point and you have issues, I uh, highly recommend calling us. We can download a, a new map. All We save all our maps for everything we ship out of here. So we've pretty much got maps for all the combinations. So, uh, and just start over, you know, maybe it's dug itself a hole in that map and it's sometimes hard to get out of that, you know, once that hole is there and stuff. So, uh, we can definitely do that. That's the, some of the glory of the, the Holly stuff. So, uh, so just really pay attention to all that stuff. Uh, fuel system's pretty cut and dried on these things. So, uh, another, another really good function that we like of the Terminator that we found very, very useful is that you can plug it into a laptop. So, you know, if you're having some issues, you know, get your laptop out, 
put it in the car, get your buddy, and go for a drive and have him watch it. You know, things you want to watch is, is just kind of what the fuel map is doing. Uh, you know, when you're having, let's say you're having some issues, kind of like coming to a stoplight and surging and bucking. So see what it's doing. You know, so it'll probably be pretty self-explanatory uh, once you're watching all that stuff, what it's doing. So, you know, it's going to try to target what you have put in for like air fuel ratio targets, things of that nature. So some of the motors we found are very sensitive to half a point to make them, you know, idle good, respond good in the car. So you, you might have to do some fine tuning, you know, on your target points and things of that nature. So. Uh, it's really, really easy. Uh, and it's just a really great function uh, of the system. You know, they all call them plug and play, but I'm here to tell you it's not always a plug and play. So it's a great, great uh, system, uh, but still you have to input the proper parameters for that motor combination. And, and it can change from the dyno to your car, definitely. So uh, the way it drives, the way your converter is, this. There's just a lot of things. So, but like I said, the glory of it is that you can tune on that as you drive down the road. Nothing like it. So, um, so that's for this week's newsletter. Uh, appreciate you watching. Like we say, if you got any uh, things you would like us to research for you, do a newsletter on. Please do not hesitate to contact us. You can call us, email us, whatever that is. Uh, we'd be more than happy to uh, do a little spurt on that. Uh, definitely appreciate it if you share this with everybody. We're doing it to help educate the consumer out there, have a better product. So next week I think we're going to be doing bell housings, how to dial them in, get them parallel with the block or some transmission manufacturers out there that request that uh, down to you know a thousands. So uh, we're going to go through that process, show you how to do it and then how to correct it. So uh, stay tuned for that and have a great week.